In today's video I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon dashboard in Google Data Studios. So let's get started. As the first thing that we need to do is to connect Amazon accounts to Google Data Studio and, and in order to do it I will be using Power My Analytics connectors. I will leave the link in the description below for you to try. And, and uh, so what you need to do is just to click uh, free trial and then uh, you will uh, see in the analytics hub and here you can uh, cho choose sources tab and uh, click uh, new data sources and search for Amazon and uh, here you can connect Amazon seller central as well as Amazon ads so it will be the step one uh, the next step is in the data studio click add data search for Amazon and here you see Amazon seller central a connector click here choose your uh, analytics hub and then uh, choose your account and in the end you need to click connect what to do next so let's start from scratch I will add a new page let's add the data range on our dashboard and let's name something like Amazon MWS. Let's make it bigger font and uh, for the date range let's uh, display the last 30 days by default. Not to do everything from scratch I will copy some of uh, scorecards to make uh, this video a little bit faster. Let's add the line of scorecards and the first one will be revenue and uh, if I click on this scorecard you will see I renamed uh, in the source field it is called amount but uh, it is display revenue date and also I'm using as a comparison date range and compare with previous period let's do the same for other scorecards I'll just copy them so here uh, for these all scorecards I renamed only two scorecards it is the first one uh, revenue and the second product revenue because the initial field name is item subtotal and uh, also the last metric is average order value it is a calculated metric I divided sum of item subtotal divided by number of orders and uh, this way I've calculated my average order value then let's add uh, a table below these scores cards. I will just copy and paste it. The table name is uh, Project Sales. I called it and uh, what uh, dimensions and metrics I'm using. Product name and for uh, metrics is quantity, item subtotal, fees and order total. And I sort by quantity in the, in the descending order. Uh, let's add another table below it is called order sales and with the help of this uh, table we can easily monitor our order status as well as our fulfillment channel marketplace and date and time of the order and so on let me show you what metrics i am um, using here is date and time order id order status fulfillment channel marketplace it is for the dimensions for metrics I'm using quantity item subtotal shipping price item tax fees and order total I can add another met just by drag and drop my metrics this way at the bottom of my dashboard I want to display uh, three things uh, it will be I will be using pie chart and also map for pie chart I want to visualize sales by fulfillment channel and I'm using here um, dimension fulfillment channel metrics order total for also I want to display sales by order status and uh, let me show you my metrics and dimension is order status and metric order total and sales by regions I'm using ship state and uh, size of calls on the map based on quantity sold here I can also add amount for instance and it is uh, our revenue we can rename it let's make this revenue metric the color metric and this way we see revenue scale I think we finished 
Amazon MWS dashboard. And uh, now let's make a similar dashboard for Amazon Ads. I already prepared a template not to building everything from scratch and let me show you what fields I'm using. At the top of my dashboard I have the list of uh, scorecards and the first one is called spend. It is uh, how much we spend on ads. Another metric is sales. It is revenue generated from our ads. ASUS, then CPC, CTR, conversions, and conversion rate. Conversion rate is a calculated metric. I divided attributed conversions from the last seven days divided by number of clicks and this way I've calculated uh, conversion rate and I use comparison date range and compare all metrics with the previous period. Below I display the campaign performance and uh, and keyword performance. For campaign performance, what metrics and dimension I'm using? Uh, it is uh, campaign name, uh, ad group name and SKU. And uh, for metrics, it's click, CTR, CPC, spend, ASUS and sales. For keyword performance, I'm using keyword text, query, match type, and also click, CTR, CPC, spend, ASUS and sales. So that's how Amazon dashboard looks like. I hope this video was useful. If you want to done for you service to create an Amazon dashboard for your brand, then check the links in the description below and have a great day. Bye.